You'd think being rich and famous would be enough to occupy a celebrity's time, but for some celebs, there's more to life than being in the limelight. Some of these stars put in hours at their side gigs solely as a passion project, but others could actually support themselves on their moonlighting efforts should they ever find themselves cast out of showbiz. Here are some celebs who quietly work a regular job. Jeremy Renner in Avengers Age of Ultron, Hawkeye has a running gag about how he's constantly doing renovations to his home. Perhaps that was a way for the filmmakers to give a nod to Jeremy Renner's real-life passion, house flipping. Actually, to call what Renner and his real estate business partner do house flipping is an understatement. One of Renner's most recent projects was a Holmby Hills estate that sold for $24 million. So he's not exactly spending his nights and weekends hanging drywall. In fact, Renner seems to act in more of a project manager capacity for these high-end renovations. He said, With the houses we build, I make all the decisions about design, materials, fabrics, furniture, everything. These homes are beyond turnkey. They're fully loaded. Fresh cut flowers, linens, towels, the whole bit. You just bring some clothes and you're good to go. Prince William Barring any unfortunate accidents or terminal illness, Prince William is going to be the King of England one day. But when the Duke of Cambridge isn't busy being a royal and a father, William's been donning a flight suit and volunteering 20 hours a week for the East Anglian Air Ambulance, a nonprofit service that flies helicopter missions. William told the BBC he does this work because I look forward to coming here every day, whether it's 5.30 a.m. or going to bed at 2 a.m. The shift work is exciting, and the fact that I love working on a team, that's something that my other job doesn't necessarily do. And seriously, it's not only selfless but downright heroic that he does this, so good on him. Daniel Day-Lewis Known for his method acting and ultra-selectiveness in choosing roles, Daniel Day-Lewis is also quite committed when it comes to his side job. He did an apprenticeship with a renowned Italian cobbler, the late Stefano Bemmer, for eight months and rarely spoke about the experience to the media. In an interview with the Hartford Current, though, the actor confessed, I don't mean to give it a greater air of mystery than it has. It's as much for the work I do as an actor as anything else. Who knows if it does inform the work in the time you take away, but I choose to believe it does. Nick Offerman If you had to imagine the mustachioed Ron Swanson taking up a side pursuit, your first answer would have to be woodworking, right? For the last three years, I have served as troop leader of the Pawnee Rangers. This is our handbook. I wrote the whole thing myself." And while actor Nick Offerman is quite different in real life than his Parks and Recreation counterpart, a love of craftwork is something they definitely have in common. Offerman grew up learning woodworking skills from his family, then combined his love of that craft with his study of theater to open his own shop that specialized in building sets. Eventually, he made his way to LA and found success in acting, but Offerman always maintained his love of working with his hands. And it's not just a hobby for him, it's literally his life philosophy. He told Popular Mechanics, Choosing to make things or having the skills to fix things in your life, whether it's your vehicles or your home or your clothing, that's what I mean by a way of living. Offerman's craftsmanship can be found on display at Offerman Woodshop, an LA-based co-op where various other craftsmen also share the space to hone their trade. Tom Selleck it may seem like the natural side business for Tom Selleck to have gone into what would have been selling mustache wax and tiny combs. Nice mustache, by the way, when puberty hits, that thing's really gonna kick in. <laughs> but he didn't do that. Instead, he bought a California ranch with a working avocado farm. His farming business recently got him into some hot water, though, when he was accused of stealing municipal water from a fire hydrant during California's unprecedented drought to keep his crop alive. James Franco Thanks to his convincing movie roles, some people might have the perception that James Franco is a lazy stoner. This couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, it's almost impossible to keep track of every side gig James Franco pursues. Aside from acting, he's an author, director, poet, and visual artist. In 2011, he started out teaching a filmmaking course at NYU, and despite some controversy and the inevitable criticism lobbed at a celebrity teacher, he seems to have maintained the pursuit. In 2014, Franco made his way onto the faculty at UCLA. Erica Badu Multiple Grammy Award winner Erica Badu is not only an esteemed musician, she's also a fashion icon and role model for women. She's also a deeply spiritual person who once published an essay in Essence which read in part, The ultimate human joy we seek can only be found in the full acceptance of who we really are and not in the avatars we've created to define ourselves. So yeah, she's clearly operating on another level. That's probably the reason she was so profoundly moved during the birth of her friend's child, that she became an official doula and has since assisted in dozens of births. It's a very natural thing. It's an ancient art. Um, we have been doing this from the beginning of time. Kevin Costner 
in the immediate aftermath of the Deepwater Horizon disaster, which led to over 130 million gallons of oil being spilled into the Gulf of Mexico, Kevin Costner emerged as a real-life hero. He offered the centrifuge technology that his company, Ocean Therapy Solutions, developed as a way to separate oil from water in just such an occasion. He said of the offer, at its core, my dream, this machine, was designed to give us a fighting chance to fight back the oil that has got us by the throat. Unfortunately, his machines were never used because it took so long to get them loaded onto ships and out onto the water. But it still shed some light on Costner's amazing side business that nobody knew about. Lenny Kravitz Rock legend and movie star Lenny Kravitz has always had a definitive style. From his ever-changing hair to his funky, eclectic wardrobe, the guitarist and singer has always been on the cutting edge of new fashion trends. And despite the fact that he's often spotted in the front row of Fashion Week runway shows, most people are unaware that he also founded a design firm in 2003 called Kravitz Design. His approach to the interior and product design firm seems to mirror his own personal style, in that there is no single defining characteristic to the work except that they work on high-end properties in Manhattan. Steven Seagal it's a bit of a stretch to say that Steven Seagal has quietly been working as a cop since the 2009 reality show Steven Seagal Lawman was based on his unbelievable part-time job. But before his work hit the reality TV circuit, he'd been doing police work with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office for two decades. Seagal has since resigned from the force, allegedly to avoid facing allegations by a former assistant who accused him of sex trafficking and creating a hostile work environment. But the Under Siege star resurfaced on the law enforcement scene in Arizona a few years later. So it's clear he's abiding by the once a cop, always a cop mantra. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.